Good afternoon. Today, I'm gonna to make onion jam. You say onion jam. If you like pepper jelly for condiments, for hors d'oeuvres, you're gonna like this onion jam. This isn't my recipe. I got this from the Food Network. Damaris Phillips made this, and I've made it, and it's good. So I'm gonna share it with you. It's easy to make. It's just time consuming. It takes about two hours just to make this onion jam. Then you have to let it cool or chill in the refrigerator. Two large onions. These are sweet onions. These come out really good. Julienne them. Two lemons zested. The two lemons squeezed. Half a cup of brown sugar. You're gonna need to split it because you use it twice, quarter cup each time. Ground ginger. I only need like half a teaspoon of this, but ground ginger is great in a Moscow mule, so I ground a little extra for later. Coriander, butter, salt and pepper. All right, let's get started. I've made this a few times, and for me, I'm not a professional cook or chef, so to make this come out very consistent, when you slice the onions, I recommend you use a mandolin. This guarantees that all the slices are the same thickness and everything cooks the same and your end results will be what you're looking for. Get the tools. This is the butter, the onion, lemon zest, ginger, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna cook these till they turn translucent, five to 10 minutes. Smells good in here already. That's five minutes, the onions look translucent. I'm going to add half the lemon juice. Those two lemons gave me four ounces of lemon juice, so I'm gonna add two ounces of lemon juice. Four teaspoon of coriander. Turn the heat down to low. Now a quarter cup of the brown sugar. It's going to take about 15 minutes for this liquid to evaporate, so we're going to add a third cup of water every 10 minutes. Add the water. Add. Okay, you notice most of this is the first 10 minutes, and most of the liquid's almost gone. Now we're going to add a third cup of water. We're going to let this go another 10 minutes. Okay, we're 20 minutes into this. The liquid evaporates just like it's supposed to. Let's add more water. Another third cup. Be back in 10. Add the water. Okay, we're 30 minutes into this. You can see the liquid keeps evaporating. We're going to add more water. We'll be back in 10. You can see all the liquid cooks out of this. This will be the last third cup of water. Once this cooks down, we'll be at the hour mark. Once this water cooks down, we'll add the rest of the lemon juice and the rest of the sugar and just cook it until it gets a nice syrupy consistency. Add the lemon juice and sugar. Okay, we're done with the water process. It's this took 55 minutes. You can see all the more, all the liquid is gone out of these onions. Now we'll add the other brown, the rest of the brown sugar, rest of the lemon juice. We'll cook this for another three to five minutes until the sugar's all dissolved and I got kind of a syrup. We'll be back. I've cooked this with the lemon juice and brown sugar for about five more minutes. There's still a little liquid in there. I'm going to leave it like that because once this cools, that'll gelatinize, turn into a nice syrup. So I'm going to take it off the heat now, let it cool off, transfer it to a serving bowl. Okay, we dressed the crackers up. Let's taste these things. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Wow, it's amazing that an onion that could smell so bad to make you cry, it tastes so good on a cracker. It's hard to describe the flavor. You got the earthy flavor of the onion. You get the kick of the lemon zest and the, the lemon juice. And then you get the, the sugar kicks in. So your mouth is confused, but just wants another bite. Mm. Oh. It's really good. I had to make this because I couldn't believe onions tasted that good, but they do. Wow. It's easy to make, time consuming. Get a little extra ginger here. 
Ah, very good. Well, you all have a happy Thanksgiving and thanks for watching.